as the cross is whipped in towards Davis, cleared away by McLean. And now a chance for Courtney Vine to show her wheels here. And the early delivery. Massive chance here for Sydney FC. Hawksby with a touch and the cleanup work is superb from Libby Copas Brown getting back and ensuring. Claudia Chico there, she keeps up with Courtney Vine, but what a quality ball in by Courtney Vine. The way she shaped that in behind the Newcastle defence for Mackenzie Hawksby. Copas Brown's header, a decent one finding airs. The speed from Allen, early delivery, Bolden! Serena Bolden! She's done it again! Goals in four consecutive matches! Seven for the season! She's been so great for the Newcastle Jets. What a great signing by Gary Van Engbon. And the way she's taken that header, the way she gets up, the way she twists her body to put that ball in the back of the net, absolute world class. Here's a chance for Sydney FC, and it falls to the feet of Courtney Vine. Vine sending Chico one way and then the other, and the ball brushes the post and goes wide. Everyone. You can see when Sydney FC pick up this ball in midfield, they're looking for those wide areas, and they will be able to isolate Courtney Vine here 1v1 with Chico. We know that Chico's got plenty of speed, and Vine's done well to cut back in on her left foot, but just couldn't get that proper connection with the ball. And you could see those Sydney FC fans behind the goal. Their reaction said it all. Bowman couldn't control it from crossing the line, but Newcastle just stepping up the pressure here before halftime. Ayres on to Bolden. Returns it to Molina Ayres. And we've seen her strike from that kind of range before. And as a cannon from... The shade into the light. Absolute rockets from that distance. And she'll be wanting to get a bit of confidence to start to get a couple of strikes under her belt because especially starting, it's always a little bit difficult to get yourself back into that rhythm of being playing from, from the start. And, and obviously the engines and, and the way your body reacts as well. Courtney Vine versus Pryor. Courtney Vine off the post. Is it still there for Sydney? No, it's Chico with the clearance. She's been one of the players of this first half. Claudia Chico and Courtney Vine cannot believe it. She's hit the post for the second time in this match. Barbieri. And Tumuth is coming back in sky blue with Holman. De Santos. De Santos's delivery to Vine. She's hit the post for a third time. Can she go a fourth here? She crosses to the back post, and there is the 16-year-old Maddie Caspers. Fresh off signing a contract until 2026. She scores her first goal in the Liberty A-League. And what a star she is. What a great little touch here by Dos Santos. Great ball to the back post there. And the way Courtney Vine has just hit that first time, what a fantastic achievement by the youngster. Newcastle seventh on 18 points. But it is so tight in the Liberty A-League around that top six. Congestion is real. And Hoban linking with Bolden, returns it to Bolden. Has the overlap of Bauman, doesn't use it. Uses Davis and Cass Davis. We've seen her score a spectacular goal already this season. She couldn't produce it on a second occasion here. Thompson. Carapides, it angles back to Abini. Kruger making a run in the middle now. And Abini opts for Hawksby. And now DeSantos. Abini, Hawksby in a pocket of space. And somehow, Bauman has poked it wide. It looked like it was going to be an own goal for all money. What great combination play. A little one-touch football to be able to get Mackenzie Hawksby in behind and a great little dangerous ball across the face. But what an absolutely great tackle. Fenton, shoulder to shoulder with 
Bolden. Is there a final chance here for Sydney? Fenton over the top. Kruger chasing. Kruger has won it for Sydney FC. Zara Kruger. What a time to score your first goal in the Liberty A-League. And Sydney, with the last kick of the game, have claimed all three points. Utter dejection for Newcastle, who gave it everything. And Sydney, they're about to make an 11 straight wins against the Jets. You could see that Sydney FC was looking to play these balls in, in behind and it was unfortunate that Nino was just...